I'm Dan from hikersreview.com. Today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Sawyer Mini. Now when you get this package, you're going to find that the price point is right around $20 to $30 depending on where you purchase it from. And when you open it, you're going to get the filter. Uh, this can be used in multiple ways. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of those. And inside, you're going to get a squeeze container. Uh, this is 16 ounces and it is durable. A small straw just in case you have to drink directly from your source and a syringe for cleaning the filter after use or when it starts to get clogged. They claim that this water filter is good for a hundred thousand gallons uh, now when they do the testing it is fairly clean so depending on the source that you're getting it from say northern Minnesota you're gonna see a much lower uh, gallons out of this filter than you would say a fresh mountain stream. All right, just to show you how this works, a lot of people do use it this way. You go ahead and you take the filter and you screw it on to your squeeze bottle. That fits on there nice and tight. And when this is full of water, you go ahead and just squeeze this into your water bladder, your Nalgene, whatever water source you want, or just carry it as it is. The other option is with the straw. Now this straw, you can either you can put it on either end and use it to, to suck water out of your source. Just make sure that you keep it pretty consistent, just to make sure you keep your clean water clean. My preferred way to use the Sawyer Mini is to use it in a gravity filter. This here is a homemade gravity filter system that I have all the materials listed on my website, hikersreview.com, as well as a video on how to put it together. Now what you're going to do is I have some quick connects that are left over from a Hiker Pro that I did destroy. You just go ahead, clip those together, and you're going to see a real nice stream coming out. Go ahead and just drop that down into your Nalgene and let that fill up. To fill up a whole liter, you're going to take roughly about two to four minutes. Now that I'm done filtering water, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill the syringe that they include with, that I always hike with, with the clean water that was filtered. Go ahead and fill that. Push the clean end up against the syringe, and you're going to want to do a little back flush. What you'll notice is a very discolored water, any kind of particulates come out the back end. And then just give it a couple good shakes. What this is going to do is get any of that extra water out. And a couple other tips that you should keep in mind when using this filter. Because it is so small, any water left inside of it and in freezing conditions, you will break this filter. So this filter you're going to want to make sure that you keep in your sleeping bag or in your pocket uh, when you're not using it in cold conditions. My name is Dan with HikersReview.com. Go ahead, leave me some feedback and watch for my next review. Thank you.